How y'all doing, man? It's your boy Sati. You already know, we finna get into another game reaction, y'all. On this channel, this is supposed to be a game I've been waiting for as a release. And I'm just now realized they had dropped some gameplay of this like four months ago. And I'm finna go ahead and just merge these two videos of something they dropped a few days ago as the behind the scenes is showing what the game is gonna look like as how they build this game up and how the game is gonna look. So I wanna go ahead and give y'all that because y'all know I've been keeping up with this game for like almost two years ago. And I'll just show y'all right here. It's been a quite bit, but I'm still excited to see what this is gonna look like as to see when the release is coming out. And I did hear that it is supposed to come out around like October, so let's see this. Let's get our reaction and our review. But before we get into that, you already know y'all the TikTok right there. If y'all wanna go follow that man, y'all can always go to link about the bottom video. Y'all always welcome to that, but let's get into his reaction. Five long years, the dark of the ground. Just the no video that has been like we could four be months uh, out. But all seemed lost and we had to run from judgment day and its killing sun. Now it's time to be back in the light. The world of Skynet will have to fight. But then you life one day will see and everywhere I'll name will be survivor says okay this is the behind the scenes they're gonna show us y'all this is merge together we had several reasons we decided to develop a survival game in the terminator universe the first two movies of the terminator saga are stories about survival with characters being hunted down by the terminator we really wanted to recreate this feeling of constant chase most of the time you'll run until you're ready to face them we also felt the Terminator timeline, the post-apocalyptic period, have, uh, and especially the events after Judgment Day, are a perfect fit in terms of environment to set a survival game. Finally, even if already seen a couple times in the films, this period has only been partially explored. So being able to flesh this period out and showcase the life of survivors during this time there's no greater honor as fans. I was the story of the game, game play, like the story of the movies, takes about place this. in the USA. From an artistic and narrative point of view, the world building was extremely curated. Our goal was to be as realistic and coherent as possible in describing a world that carries the signs of the conflict narrated in James Cameron's saga. Every character, every location has something to tell, and this happens on multiple levels considering the periods before the war, during the war, and after the war. The main inspiration definitely comes from James Cameron's movies that we dissected in each and every part in order to fully capture their atmosphere. In particular, from the first movie we extracted the tense and suspenseful atmosphere, the sensation of being hunted down and facing an absolutely invincible enemy. Then we've done extensive studies on its color palette, its photography and direction. From the second movie, we mostly focused on its dynamic aspects, its action scenes and its pacing, also paying attention to the choice and variety of locations. Clearly, other sources of inspiration okay, so come from the magical decade the between the 80s the and 90s, one. where the field of sci-fi and action movies offered masterpieces, from which we recall a bit of the vibe and I think they should have put this like a first person. There will be various human factions that you'll need to interact with, each of them with their own vision of the world, individual objectives, and stuff. also different beliefs about Skynet <clears throat> and what's happening behind the scenes. Combat is realistic and hardcore, which means that if your approach isn't calculated and tactical, you can die very easily. You're the underdog, meaning confrontations and fights need to be dealt with in different ways. You can approach them stealthily or maybe commit to a frontal assault. The decision will depend on how many resources you have, as resources are very scarce. Hmm. 
So this is like an open world, right? As you struggle to survive in this harsh world, low visibility, a lack of resources, with the threat of radiation, and more, the Terminator is the worst possible enemy to have in a situation like this. When you come across it looking for humans to terminate, your chances of survival are slim. Sooner or later, it will see you. And when this happens, it won't let you go. And your only reasonable option will be to flee. Yeah. We recreated many different environments well, and we paid like a lot that. of attention they to the characterization just, of each biome. Survivors will cross mountain from lands, lands from desert, and make a movie. small cities, outposts, Game like or that, bigger you know. cities. We decided to offer a really early good game access for this game in order to test movie, the survival you know. mechanics with a larger player base. This I know way, they're going we can with take game. on players' feedback, optimizing and improving the game experience. We also believe that early access is the best way to get the community involved to create a balance that really feels like you're fighting for survival. They're probably going to make you uh, pre-order to get that early access. All right, y'all, that's everything I just seen. We finna give our little view and everything we just took from the trailer. I'ma be honest with y'all, man. I wish they would've took a lot of advice, like from Alien Isolation, how they actually body from the movie into the game. I think that could've did the game very justice. I'm just being honest to y'all. This game gave me a lot of memory of like State the K3 or two, you know what I'm saying? If y'all know what that game is about, I'll just show y'all. And that's one thing about these games, man. They need to stand out on its own. And not just recreating like the next game what they did i mean they did say behind the scenes that you have to find places and trying to survive as going out and getting replies to build your home as what's going to protect you as you struggle to survive in this harsh world low visibility a lack of resources with the threat of radiation and more the terminator is the worst possible enemy to have in a situation like this sooner or later it will see you. And when this happens, it won't let you go. And your only reasonable option will be to flee. That's the same thing of that game, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm curious if there's any story mode on this, you know what I'm saying? Is this just strictly on some online type is, or is it going to be having some campaign and some story mode until this game? Because they didn't even show that, you know what I'm saying? So, I wonder how that's going to be, how that's going to go. I mean, this is Terminator. There are so many ways they could have shaped this game. And I wonder why it took them so long to drop this. Like I said, I've been reacting to this like almost two years ago, waiting on this game to drop, seeing when it was going to be the release. And I just Seen that it is early access October the 24th, so I don't know if that comes with just pre-ordering this or not. But if it is, I'm probably not going to pre-order this yet. I need more gameplay. I need to see what this game is going to give us, and I hope this game is really good because I really had high hopes of this. Like I said, it's still early. We still got time. I guess we're going to wait even more to get some gameplay. But that is my review. That's my take from this. I think it looks all right. I don't know if I will pre-order this. I give it more time. Like I said, just to see more information or just like i said some gameplay to be honest but tell me how y'all feel about it tell me what y'all think about this y'all feel like this game looks really good do y'all think it's some things that could be worked on maybe they can add on to this game y'all could send me a link about a video as if you've been waiting on this game just as me make sure for anybody who ran to this video or this channel i get into reactions and game footage and about views as making sure you hit that like subscribe y'all didn't know it heads on this channel for seeing i very appreciate it not by force by choice make sure y'all go to the tiktok Everything you need is right there. Y'all go follow that. Everything linking up on the video. Go ahead and go to that. But I'll catch y'all in the next video.